paradigm of lung cancer treatment has dramatically changed in the last five to ten years. There are probably two new chapters which have completely changed the way we can treat lung cancer and at the time, at the time being particularly advanced metastatic uh, non-small cell lung cancer. It has mainly changed, first of all, by the best definition, a better definition of the oncogenic, the oncogenesis of the tumor, trying or aiming at identifying the various mechanisms leading to cancer. And by identifying some of these genetic changes, we call them now drivers, we were able to address or treat or action on some of them at least. So probably in our societies, uh, in Caucasian patients, a third of the patient might have access not to chemo, but to a personalized therapy, a targeted therapy, which will really target the mechanism which have induced the cancer to happen. The second revolution, which opens a little bit larger hopes, is the immunotherapy. Lung cancer is especially very um, immunogenic. Lung cancer is uh, most of the time encountered in smokers, and smokers accumulate mutations, accumulate abnormalities in the cells, which theoretically should be visible by the immune system. So all the treatments we use now in immunotherapy is to reinforce the immune system in order to recognize these very abnormal cells. The IPSA Foundation takes part to these efforts by doing, uh, allowing people to meet and understand and discuss the data, but also by conveying at every level of the society and the scientific environment the data and the, their granularity to an extent which is useful for everyone. Uh, IPSA Foundation is also supporting some fellowships, for example, which are extremely important for young oncologists because we know young oncologists now need to see various environments in their career.